What is going on guys, so today I'm bringing you an unboxing of the new Mac Mini. Now this is going to be the 2012 Mac Mini, the one that they just released or refreshed like about a month ago when they announced the new IMAX. Anyways, I wanted to give this a go and scoop one of these up before the IMAX come out. Uh, I've never actually owned an iMac or a Mac Mini, but I want to try these out because my 2009 MacBook Pro that I normally do work on was not cutting it anymore, especially with Final Cut Pro. It just took me hours to make just one simple video. But uh, let's take a quick look at the box itself, of course. Uh, on the back, we have our picture of our ports and everything like that that come on the Mac Mini itself. But uh, we'll actually get into that here in a second. Let's move on to the bottom. The bottom actually has all the specs and everything. Now this is going to be the i7 model. It's going to be the 2.3 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i7 with 4 gigabytes of DDR3 SD RAM, 1 terabyte 5400 RPM hard drive, and that's going to be quite a bit because I just didn't have enough space on my MacBook Pro either. Anyways, this is going to have the Intel HD graphics for with HDMI and Thunderbolt output along with the HDMI and DVI adapter that is included in the box and we have Thunderbolt port support high-speed IO and mini display port devices and the SDXC card slot but anyways I'm just gonna stop there and we'll get to the actual unboxing because I'm just getting tired of uh, reading all that stuff so let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy and uh, let me go ahead and cut this out real quick I don't know why I'm cutting that out all nice and neat. I'm just gonna tear off the plastic anyways. But put in this little my little um unboxing razor blade, I guess is what I always use to unbox all my packages and all that good stuff. But anyways, pulling up this or pulling off <laughs> the package or the box from the Mac Mini. Let's go ahead and get this out. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so we have the Mac Mini right here. It looks pretty dope. I like it. I like the aluminum uh, finish and everything like that. But uh, pulling off the tab here that we always have on all our Apple products, we have the Mac Mini. It's pretty heavy, but we'll put this off to the side for now and get down to what is actually in the box itself. So first, we pull this little tab. We have, of course, our literature. We have our quick start guide, our hello guide that uh, shows us everything about the Mac Mini, what you can do with it, and all that good stuff and uh, we'll actually put that away because I'm not going to use that anyways moving on we have our Mac mini uh, warranty guide and all that good stuff that we should keep and finally we have the best part it's going to be the Apple stickers anyways moving back to the box we have our HDMI to DVI adapter or DVI to HDMI that is where you insert the DVI part and then here is the HDMI that you insert to the Mac Mini itself so that we get that little high resolution or semi high resolution uh, display moving on we have our uh, power supply or a power little cord right there it is a simple power cord that's what I love about Apple products anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the actual Mac Mini itself now opening up or pulling out this little tab here we uh, get our beautiful Mac Mini. Like I said, this is pretty heavy. I didn't really think it was this heavy, but um, I, don't, I don't know. It's, of course, just really small and compact. Taking a look at the bottom of the Mac Mini, we have what it says Mac Mini there. Uh, taking a closer look at the front, we have our little uh, sensor here on the right, along with a mic hole right there. But flipping it to the back, starting here from the left to the right, we have our power button right there. We have our uh, power supply port, our Ethernet port, our FireWire port, HDMI, Thunderbolt, and we also have four USB ports right there. And then right here we have our little SD card slot along with our mic in and our headphone jack right there. So we have plenty of things to insert into our Mac Mini. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this quick little unboxing, guys. Stay tuned for future Mac Mini videos. I'm going to put this to the test and see how well it runs compared to my MacBook Pro because, like I said, my MacBook Pro was not kind of net, especially with Final Cut Pro. It took me hours just to make a video. But stay tuned for the future Mac Mini videos and to see if this is a possibly a purchase you may want to be getting anytime soon. 
But anyways guys, as always, go ahead and hit that like button to show me that you like this video. And also, go ahead and follow me for future updates on Facebook and or on Twitter. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for future Mac Mini videos. And so you'll be notified when I come out with all my future videos. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching. Alright, peace!